Morning Rover Riders. Well, for those of you who are wondering, on the 23rd of uh, June this year, I was out riding. I had to go drop off some parts to a friend over at the Veterans Home, and I was shooting some videos for a uh, uh, Ranging Rover Channel video, and I had my first wipeout, and uh, I ended up uh, damaging the wheel here really bad. Um, as you can see, looking at it here, it's definitely got a bulge. A third of the wheel has been bent. So what we're going to do here is uh, this video is going to show you, if you have never completely removed a wheel from your rover, it's going to show you how to do it. And the first thing that you want to do is you have to take off your brakes. Now, I've already got this one taken off. There are two screws here. As you can see, one's right here. One is right there. And there will be either two washers between this screw and this housing right here, or you will have your fender bracket in there. Okay, this is the fender bracket. Okay, and if you don't have the fenders hooked up, when you take these screws out, those two little spacer washers will fall to the ground. You need to be aware of that. Now, once you uh, got that taken off and it's out of the way, the next step that you have to do is take your, uh, what is this, 8 millimeter wrench. This is lefty-righty. This, this is uh, a standard one. It's a righty tighty, lefty loosey. So clockwise it tightens it. Uh, Counterclockwise it uh, takes it off. And this is, of course, is the left side tire. So you put your wrench in like this, and then you very firmly press down on it like this. It will come loose once it comes loose. It's very easy. It comes out, and what you end up with is something like this. It's threaded both on the outside and on the inside. Let's see if I can show you the inside threads there. The inside threads there are for the bolt that holds on your fenders on the outside. Then, it's just a matter of taking the tire off and you end up with a spool that looks like that. All right? Okay. Let me get sitting over here and get this changed around. Okay, there's something else. Now, you've got your uh, tire sitting here. There we go. And you notice that the rotor is still on it. You may want to take that rotor off uh, before you take it to the bike shop because if they're going to replace it, you got no guarantee you're going to get your original rotor back or it's going to be assembled right. They should be able to do that, but just in case, if you want to take those off, there are six screws that hold this on. These happen to be Torx bit screws. And if I remember right, I think they were number 10, but I could be wrong. But uh, I've already had this off. That's why it's easy for me to take it off. And there's something I want to show you here. All right. break time okay the thing I wanted to show you is this this is your uh, rotor now if you look on when you take your rotor off take a note of where these splines go okay um, I actually marked on mine outer that means that it goes on the outside of the wheel because on the inside you will notice that they have a little arrow here that is the direction of the tire so this has to go like this and when it's mounted to the tire here excuse me I'm reaching over that is exactly how this is gonna go the little arrow here let's see if I can get this in my screen here so I can see what I'm doing 
the little arrow is pointed that way, going that way. And this is going to attach to the tire on the inside like this. Okay, that's kind of important for when you put it back together. All right. Now, the thing about this tire is right here. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to zoom in on it as best I can here. But right here where it says Teratrike, there is a little, you can tell where the rim comes together. It is definitely, I don't know if they had that welded or glued or what, but it is definitely broken. So, <coughs> excuse me, approximately this much of the tire between my thumbs is what's been out of shape. I don't know if they can fix that or not. But I'm going to take this over to West Michigan Bike and Fitness, which is the local Terratrike dealer here. I also noticed that these spokes are bent a little bit. Uh, they may have to do some repair work, but hopefully they will be able to get this thing fixed. And then, of course, putting it back on, on is a, a, a simple task. The other thing I wanted to show you folks while I got you here. Uh, these uh, fender brackets. These screw holes right here on the ends where you screw the uh, parts for the uh, for the fenders if you can get a tap and run the tap through them because when they uh, powder coat these things they didn't cover up the threads and I found that the threads were were uh, powder coated and that made getting the screws in very very easily in fact I actually stripped one of them out as a result of that so I have to order a whole new set of these brackets for both sides because I'm having problems getting the screws in. I have to take the fenders off in order to get the bike through the door of the apartment. And taking those screws in and out is, is a bit of a pain. But it can be done. So, this is what it's like to take a wheel completely off your tear trike or over. Hope this helps somebody someday. Alright, i got to get this thing down to the down to the bike shop and give them a few days to work on it. Talk to you later. Mac out.